this, this idea of objects that contain soul and the potential to both recover fragmented souls um, to make some kind of um, synthesis of the African experience, the Southern experience, and now the Northern urban experience. All of that um, is, is in this work of strong intentionality here is to restore a sense of dignity and uh, indigenous power, uh, authenticity, uh, self-direction, to escape from uh, specious definitions that are promulgated within the wider culture that then may be absorbed and actually have an inimical power to take away people's sense of themselves. So all of this work is about recovery, restoration, and love. And after I put the title on here and called it uh, The Abiding Love, I thought, you know what, that's a too passive a word. <laughs> no, that's what's going on here. This is really relentless love. It is. It is relentless. It is intentional. It is uh, very, very strong. And uh, it's, nobody is doing this work. Polemics do not accomplish this. People getting up and preaching and yelling and do not accomplish this. But the objects accomplish it. They're mute. They're mute verbally. But they are much more eloquent spiritually. <laughs>